Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Judgment. We have reached Chapter 2, which is called Beneath the Surface. We just had our first case, and we got our guy off the hook, but we are pretty damn sure that he knows who the actual murderer was in the case that he was accused Three of. Three bodies have turned up in Kamrocho, each of them missing both eyes. Everyone a Kyori man. Kumi is the most recent. And the guy who killed them all was your mole, huh? Yep. Got Kume hand-delivered to him by Hamura. In other words, Hamura was cooperating with the Mole. He might have even been involved in all three cases. But Hamura kept that hidden, and ended up getting off scot-free. In turn, making us look like fools. I'm not about to let him get away with this. Agreed. We gotta go all out if we wanna win. Too bad the pay sucks. Don't hate, man. I don't get it. Why would the captain want to protect the mole anyways? He could have gotten life in the slammer if things went south. Hard to say with what we know now. First things first, we need to figure out who the mole is. That's why we're here, remember? The mole's first victim was found right in this very alley. Mm-hmm. Happened back in August. Kenkichi Mashiba. A Kyore guy, 27. Pretty small time. Even lower rank than Kume body got reported in the morning. Eyes gouged clean out of his skull. So the corpse was found pretty much the same way that Kume was. Where exactly did they find him? What sort of position was he in? Not sure. Cops don't really publish those kinds of details. Well, guess we'll have to do one better then. Hold up a sec. The cops already did their whole song and dance searching for the mole. But they couldn't turn up a damn thing. Why do you think we can do any better? Uh, making me doubt myself, don't worry, we can do it. We have to do it. Doesn't matter whether or not we can do better. We have to. Hamra made us look like fools, and I'm not about to stand for that. Right. Anyways, the next victim was in, uh, October. Found in an alley off Tenkaichi Street. Shall we head over? I'm actually going to head over alone, if you don't mind. Think you can get in touch with that informant in the meantime? Huh? Why I obey? If we're going to use Kaito's connections to a dirty cop, now's the time. Didn't you say something about him selling police info? If he's got info on the mole, we need it. Yep, I can ask. Thanks. Okay. So, just had a, a bit of a refresher on what happened. There's been three murders. The third murder is the one that we got involved with and we have defended the guy accused of it, even though we pretty much suspect that he was directly involved. The first guy was found in that alley. I'm going to go and check out what the second guy is. So we're kind of going back to the beginning of the entire series of events and try and get all the pieces together. The guy, we're assuming that it's the same person who's murdered everyone. And our character, he's nicknamed him the Mole. So the Mole is the person that we are after. So if we can make it to the next murder spot. Yeah, just around the corner here. And we can see what's going on. Wow, this is a dingy place to have your eyes gouged out. Yeah, very dingy. Tenkaichi Alley. This is where the mole's second victim was found. If I recall, the body was found in the garbage dump, so around here. Hmm. Okay. Well, just right there. This is where they take out the garbage, right? The corpse must have been lying around here. This case happened months ago, though. I don't suppose there are any traces of the body left. I should take a closer look. What, here? There we go. That goes to Taihei Boulevard. If they know their way through all the back alleys, the mole must be pretty familiar with Kamarocho. So it's someone who's local. Um, and there's a cat. Yes. Suspicious. Yes. Apparently, if you find every single cat on every single investigation, you get a trophy. I've already missed some, so that's no good. So... Is there something else I'm supposed to look at? Or what is this shiny thing? Oh, an exquisite screw. 
Well, this is so unrelated to the case. I guess there are no more signs of the murder. It doesn't seem like anything was left behind. Isn't that like an underground access port? Would that not be it? But I guess that's no good. So now what do we do? There's really not much I can do without the police reports. Okay. I wasn't able to read all of that in time because it just went away. Now what's going on? Okay, so these guys are running after this free runner dude. Okay. Jump. Maybe he knows something, as he's familiar with the area. Oh, these guys are slow. Why did he wait for them? <laughs> yeah, he's just doing it to piss them off. Okay, fine. So I'm just chilling here in this back alley, as you do. Just hanging out. Oh, phone. Hello. What's going on? Hey, what's up? Excuse me. Get back here. You just robbed me. Hold it. Stop. Wait, wrong guy. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, we're gonna chase this guy down. Get our phone back. <laughs> it's been a little while since we last did a chase scene. This is only the second time, actually. Okay, left. Dodge. Right. Okay. Anything else coming up? Cannot see what's coming up. That looks like a left. And a right? Yeah, good. Okay, we stumbled over those cones. Okay, triangle. Jump it. Gotta watch out for those cones. We keep hitting those. Okay, we're going inside now. Whoa. That's it. Big jump. Keep after him. Keep on him. Okay, here's the jump. Hop. Okay. Cars. Okay, let's hop these cars. Ah, shit. Avoid the cones. Good. We are being given a proper run around. It's broad daylight as well. We've got to hunt this guy down. That's it. Excuse me. Avoid the cones. Avoid everything. Okay. Oh, narrow alley. Over here. We are so close to this guy. No. He's still running. It's so narrow. This way. Hop. Okay. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Keep running. So we're inside now. Running up these stairs. <laughs> But we got it. We made it through. Can we have our phone back, please? It's like, if I want to eat a snack. Oh, it's all stored in my phone. This guy's literally running in circles. Dude, wait up. He's been running longer than us. He should be out of breath by now, right? Dude, why would you do that? Okay, catch him. You gonna make the jump? Oh, ooh, that's that's a that's a bad foot placement right there. Okay, grab. Oh, nice one. Thank you. You're not getting any thanks for that. Here, you earned this back. Yeah, I own it. Look, it wasn't a perfect plan, but it worked out in the end, didn't it? So thanks. Is that what you call that? And I don't want your thanks, asshole. <laughs> okay. See ya. Oh, we got our phone back, so that helps. <sighs> That's the Camarocho burglary ring. <sighs> no wonder the cops can't catch him. That was pretty severe. Oh, okay. We got cut off. Um, are you okay? Yeah, we totally got robbed. <laughs> I got in touch with Ayabe. 
He's scraping up what he can on the mole thing. Just sit tight till we heal back. Is that okay? Okay. Oh man, I'm exhausted. Maybe I should go check in on Ginda Sensei. It's been a while since I heard from him. Uh. So, wait. How do I get down? I'm stuck on this roof. <laughs> Can we go up here? That's a ladder. Cl look, ladder. Climb the ladder. Fine. We need to get down somehow. Uh. Th there must be somewhere obvious. Can can't go that way? No. Seriously, how do I get down? There we go. Good. Oh. Uh. So, that was no good. Speak with Genda. We need to go and catch up with that guy. Oh, what's this? Uh, excuse me, I don't mean to scare you, but I need some help. Okay, what's wrong? Are you hurt? Uh, it's my stomach. It's kind of killing me all of a sudden. Do you want me to call an ambulance? No, don't do that. I don't have that kind of money. Please, just go get Moroboshi Sensei. Okay, is he some kind of doctor? Yeah, he should be underground in the sewers. You can get there through the manhole in the children's park. Okay, stay put for a sec. He'll understand if you tell him Kondo's asking for him. Please hurry. Okay, so why'd there be a doctor hanging around in the sewers? But I guess that's not really what matters here. So, where have I got to go? Into the sewers? There was a guy to talk to there, actually. Do I want to talk to him? What's up? These just suddenly came falling down. Thank God no one got hurt. That, that was me. I'm sorry about that. I caused that to fall down. I'm being f attacked. Bam. Okay. No, this is not the fight style I want. Change to, that's it, brawl mode. That's cool. Good. That's it. Can I pick up that sign? That No. No. I'm picking up the wrong stuff. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Knock these guys out. One more to go. Good. What a waste. It's been a while since I had a random fight. Grab his money. Okay. So I just defended myself from a robbery and now I'm doing the same myself. But we gotta rescue this guy who's got those bad stomach pains. Go, we can't we can't go this way. No shortcuts. It's gotta be the way that the game wants me to go. So this way. Okay, we're coming up to it now. This looks like the right kind of place. Uh can you advise me? Hello? Do you want something? Oh, nothing in particular. Then leave me the hell alone. Wow. I guess that attitude is how we ended up here. Okay, so through here is it? Yeah, just lift it up. Don't try this at home. Cool, we are very much in the sewers. Oh, there's just some people hanging out. Hey, do you know where the doctor is? Can you maybe help? Is uh, Dr. Moroboshi around somewhere? No? Wow. Oh, this looks like our man. Hey, how's it going? Excuse me. Hey, are you Moroboshi Sensei? Mm -hmm. Um, I am. And who are you? This is Yagami. I'm um, Yagami, yeah, for sure. Doesn't ring a bell. What do you want? Hmm. What am I supposed to tell this guy again? Oh, I've forgotten. Your homeboy's calling for you. Kondo's calling. Moroboshi. The Kondo has left the nest. Wow. Kondo. There's this homeless dude. He goes by Kondo. Do you know him? He's asking for your help just now. <laughs> what? Kondo San was? Yeah, he said his stomach was killing him. So where is he now? Uh, public park number three. What? Oh, he's just gone straight there. Hey. He didn't even hesitate, he just went. What a hero. So hopefully this guy is in a state that he can be easily patched up. <laughs> oh wow, I made it. Thanks a million, Doc. You too, my guy. Did you eat something strange again? I mean, let me think for a sec. Mm. I did some dumpster diving at Pig Street yesterday. I knew I tasted something fishy. For crying out loud, man. 
Oh, uh, well. Well, it looks like Kondo Sen's done it again. Yagami san, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry for your trouble. This guy is always eating trash and messing up his stomach. But this guy, yeah, we are now Excuse friends. Me. No worries. But I've got to ask you, are you actually a doctor? Well, yeah. Or at least I kind of was. That's all in the past now. Moroboshi Sensei used to be a doctor at this huge medical university. <laughs> but he's been down in the dumps since he lost his chance to become a professor. So he started helping us out instead. Uh? Wow, you talk too much, man. <laughs> oh, oopsie daisy, my bad. That's for you, Yagami san. Here's something for your trouble. I know it isn't much. Ooh, a medical kit. I'll take that, definitely. You can now get treated by Moroboshi and buy medical kits from him as well. I appreciate that. Well then, I'll be off. Thanks for helping out, Yagami-san. I'll see you around. Cool, we helped this guy. So that felt kind of good. So, I need to speak with Genda though. That was our actual mission. So let's keep going to Genda-san. We had a, like a, a random thing. Oh, this person is in distress though. Yo, how's it going? Do you want to try out our music fair today? Dwayne Cruz, friend event. Okay, a music fair? That's right. Okay, we got to spend 700 yen and we get a record. So, yeah, we've done this before. we got to spend 700 yen, which it isn't that difficult to do. So, what do we want? What about a Dodokamin? What is that? Energy drink blows your fatigue away with 12 types of energizing ingredients and fizzy stimulation. I don't want that. I just want the stuff that replenishes my health. Let's get a bento and uh, a couple of onigiri. That will do. Thanks. With today's purchase, your points have gone up by one. Cool. That means I've now got two points, right? Yeah, a one point total. I thought I already bought one before. Never mind. Or maybe it's per shop. I don't know how it works. So, does that mean we can still do a friend thing? Hmm. Let's do a little bit more shopping. What else can we buy? Crispy beef cat food. I haven't got a cat, so maybe that's a bad idea. Jack Daniels. Wow. Stamina's pretty good. That thing's really expensive. Let's just buy a... I don't know. Let's buy a, a, a beer. Oh. Cigarettes and... A bottle of water. There we go. Cool. That's it. Oh, okay. So our friendship meter went up a little bit more. We got two points now. So if we do all the shopping at all the different places, we'll unlock a bunch of music. That's going to take a lot of shopping. I'm in no rush to do all that. These guys want to fight though. I'm willing to oblige. Gotcha. Drop some... Oh, thin wire. That's good. That is good. What is this other thing? He dropped a can or a bottle or something. Oh well, it's gone now. So, what is this person's role? I'm getting so sidetracked right now. Let's buy coleslaw. Wow. Let's have a beef plate. We just got beaten up a little bit. That'll replenish. So, I'll eat that. Back to it. Cool. Hey, that was delicious, dude. Oh, thanks. I noticed you've been here a couple of times before. Yeah, I try and swing by every so often. Cool. I'm Hayao Shu, by the way. Oh, he's Chinese. Okay. You got yourself a name partner. Well, call me Yagami. Okay, I'm new here in Japan. Oh, did you just arrive or something? Actually, I've been here for a while now, but it's still all new to me. Makes sense. It does take time to adjust, especially when you're right in the heart of downtown. Aye. You got that right. Never thought I'd end up in Kamurocho of all places. I started off listening to Japanese music. I'd look up words I didn't know and study them as much as I could. Next thing I knew, I ended up here, mastering the language that moved my heart. But I still got a long road ahead of me. Oh, well, I think you're doing just fine. Take it one step at a time and I'm sure you'll be okay. Good luck, Shu. Wow, thanks very much. Come again. 
Yeah, that guy has got some pretty good language standards, actually. Talks like a regular. So, I definitely need to focus on the mission at hand. Genda, tell us what we should be doing. More people want to fight. It is not my day. It's over here. Yeah, here we go. What? Seriously? A fight now? Ah, oh, fine. Good. Don't... Oh shit, I just smashed him through the window. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, good, good. Grab his money. This guy's... Yeah. Don't, don't go up there. It just makes it easier for me to hit you. I mean, punch. <laughs> I'm punching people through windows. Um, I'm kind of not not sorry. Finally, enough distractions. Finally, we are here. Get this shit all out of my way. Get it all out of my way. Dude, move. Thank you. Let's go in. Let's get an update on what's going on. Yo, what's up? Well, look what the cat dragged in. Afternoon. Did I keep you waiting or something? No. We were just talking about you, actually. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Of course. Especially if you've got a job for me. <laughs> You're always so eager to work. A great fighter, too. You ever take lessons? I did back when I was a kid, yeah. The rest has been more of a learn-by-doing thing. I like to think of it as Kamurocho style. Because you trained yourself on the streets? Man, what a life. I bet you've got some crazy stories. Um, Yagami-san. What's up? Actually, I do have some work for you. Yeah? What kind? Here, take a look at what I've got. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff. Infidelity investigation. My name is Noriko Taguchi. My husband has started going out frequently lately and I want to know where he's going. It's hard to imagine that he's cheating on me, but could you investigate? Thanks. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, cool. Get some money for that as well. I'll send the details to your office. Put them up on your board or something. Cool, thank you. Sounds good. Thanks, sorry, son. Okay, so we need to talk to this guy. Yagami, you still sniffing around that Kume case? Oh yeah, I never told Genda Sensei I'm still looking for the mole. Yeah, that's not a problem, is it? Not a problem, per se. But the case is closed. I can't keep paying you to investigate. Fine by me. It's a personal matter now. Even so, you're convinced Hamura's covering for the killer, right? You know he'll be none too happy if he finds out you're still on the case. He brought this on himself, if you ask me. Speaking of, have you seen him since the trial? No, but he and Shintani keep in touch. They're practically drinking buddies these days. Really? Come on in, Hattori-san. Small, but it's home. Oh, I know all about this place. Right, Yagami-san? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Shintani had an interview today. Shintani and Hattori, two of my favorite people in the world. Just pretend Yagami isn't here, yeah? Wouldn't want your readers thinking he had a hand in getting Hamura's acquittal. Oh, don't worry about that, Shintani-sensei. That courtroom was yours, and yours alone. I should go. Looks like I'm the third wheel here. Without a photo, Yagami-san? For as much as you did on the case? Let me just get one of you in Shintani Sensei, huh? Tea, sir? What a treat. That would be great, Shirosaki Sensei. She blocks him off. Thank you for doing me that favor. Oh, okay. And we have a little mission that we can take care of. So what was he doing there? Anyway, I need to go meet with the client. Back to the old office. Okay, so I guess we should head back and see what this whole thing is about. We are back at base and we're going to meet with our client. She suspects that her husband's off doing something? Not quite sure what that might be, but that is the mission. Hey, how's it going? 
Excuse me. Hello. Are you here about the job, ma'am? Hi. Yes, I'm Noriko Taguchi. You came highly recommended by Genda Sensei. I'm Yagami. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Here, I'll get the door. So yeah, I'm a private investigator. You want to be to investigate if your husband's cheating on you, right? I mean, yeah, I'm afraid that's right. I can't shake the feeling that he might be, but I need someone to find out for sure. Okay, a side case. Very well. Can you tell me the whole story? Yeah, you see, my husband and I own a cafe on Taihei Boulevard called Heavy Coffee. We've managed it together ever since it opened, in fact. My husband's a good man, but he's always kept to himself. We've been married for 40 years, and I can hardly remember any real fights, let alone infidelity. Sounds like you two have a great marriage. I'd usually agree, but lately he's been leaving the cafe early. I mean, there have always been slow days where he would just leave and hit the pachinko slots or go see a movie or something. But lately, this has become almost an everyday occurrence. Okay, so what leads you to believe that he's cheating on you? Perhaps he's simply found a new hobby, for instance. That's fairly common at your age, right? Yeah, I thought it might be the case at first, too. But one day, I stopped at the pachinko parlor that he said he'd be at, and I didn't see him anywhere. Hmm. And you're sure that you're at the right place? The city's got quite a few pachinko parlors. If it had only been the once, I might not be so sure. But I assure you, I've been thorough. I've checked in several times now. And I've never found him there the one time. Okay, I see. It sounds like you've done your homework then. I'm sorry for giving you the third degree there. Yagami-san, I'd like you to investigate where my husband goes when he leaves the shop. And if he's cheating, can you tell me who he's meeting? You really want the gory details? Yes, I want to know what kind of woman he would cheat on me with. I can do that, but I've got to say, sometimes you're better off not knowing. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I put 80,000 yen on my request. Is that sufficient? Oh wow, yeah, of course. I'll take the case. Thank you. Like I said, he leaves the cafe early almost every day now. He even told me that he's been wanting to see a new movie that just came out. Alright, that should make it simple enough to tell him when he leaves. Please do that. The lady's shop is called Heavy Coffee, and it's on Taihei Boulevard. I guess I'll check it out. We have a case. And we're going to find out if this guy is legit or not. So let's find the cafe, and we're going to follow this guy. Cool, we are just coming up to this cafe shop. We are going to follow this guy and see if he's actually cheating or if he's doing something else. Who knows? Is it this place? No. Is it this place? Here we are. Heavy coffee. Yeah, this is it. It's on the second floor. Oh. This is that guy. That's my client's husband. Let's see where he goes. So we have to follow and then hide if he's feeling suspicious of us. Just gonna take our time with it. Nice and smooth, yeah? That's it. Just gonna just gonna hide and chill out. Tail the target. So was it circle button? There we go. Sneak! Ooh. Yeah, you suspect nothing. Nice number plate, XOXO. <laughs> okay. Just gonna kinda chill out over here a bit. Oh, sorry, don't mind me, bumping away. Okay. Oh, should I get behind this van? That will do it, won't it? No, there's nothing to hide behind. Hmm. There's really nothing to hide behind. I'm just gonna hang back. Ah, shit. Is he going to turn around? Okay, he's still going. He's still going. Let's get up and sneak a little bit more. That car in front looks like a good hiding spot. If I can make it to there. Or maybe this sign. Oh, he's looking. He's looking. Hide. That's fine. I didn't want to run because running would definitely not look good. Why is he coming back? 
Ah, shit. Don't come back. Go away. He's just, he's just kind of chilling out. Ooh. Oh, he's got his phone out. What's he taking a picture of? I can't tell what he's taking a picture of. I can't, I can't get the camera around th that way. Or is he taking a selfie? Okay. Hmm. So what do you take a picture of? What is it? The advert? The lipstick advert? Okay. There's really not a lot to hide behind. I'm going to chill here for a sec. No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Quick sneaking. And then hide. <laughs> so, I've got to see what way he goes. Dude, you're blocking my view. Alright, he's gone. He's gone to the left. If I break visibility with him, then I'll get a countdown. And I don't want that. Okay, good. That's that dude. Hiding. That's fine. Okay. Still good. Still good. Stay with him now. I mean, sneaking is okay. Oh, he's crossing nice and legally. I'm just gonna, just gonna chill out here. I'm just on my phone. No big deal. There's no traffic. Why would you cross at the crossing? Just just go across. Doesn't matter. Oh, is he going to look? Hiding here. Ooh. There's a motorcycle. Oh, he is meeting someone. No, there's a lady there. There is someone there. Oh, what have you been up to? It is a woman. This isn't looking good. She's caked in makeup, though. Must be really trying to hide her age. The red brick again, maybe? Yeah, that works for me. <gasps> Alright, they're on the move. The red brick. That's got to be the red brick hotel. Okay, I'm going to need a photo as proof. Where's the best spot to catch them entering the hotel? Here? Or here? No, maybe here? I should follow them and get into a position that will give me a clean shot. Well, get the scoop. Photo missions. Your goal is to investigate certain incidents and capture the decisive moment on camera. Take a picture that ticks all of the checkboxes on the right side of the screen. Be careful. If you take a picture without satisfying all the conditions, it will result in a game over. I d okay, fine. Okay, so... No, that's the wrong button. How do I... Like this. Like this, yeah. <laughs> so it's Hotel Beauty. Okay, so I've got to wait until it that final green box ticks. And then I can do it. At the minute at the minute I've got three out of the four. So what's the hotel they're going to? Oh, it's this hotel behind. Red Hotel. It must be because of the bricks. Actually I don't want to get caught. Maybe I should lower my camera. Because if they turn around, I am busted. <laughs> Imagine if you're just following someone like this. Oh, here we go. If they go in, I'm snapping this. Oh, ready, ready. That's it. Sorry, I think I've just ruined your marriage. This should be good enough. The husband's face isn't in focus, but this is clearly solid evidence. Now to figure out who he's seeing. I guess I'll wait until they come out of the hotel. I mean, how long is that going to take? Five minutes. <laughs> okay, so time time's going to pass. Just a, a quick cigarette. Minding my own. So now they've had their little rendezvous. Yeah, finally. Not bad at your age, you two. <laughs> Looks like they're splitting up. Time to follow the woman. We're going to keep sneaking. Is this what we're going to do? Okay. It's weird. I didn't mind following a guy, but following a woman, it seems a little bit sleazier somehow. Tell the target the home wrecker. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah, I'm just, like, stalking this woman now, which... Oh, 
I'm running too fast. I'm running too fast. Oh, she's looking over here. I ran straight past her. No, I'm looking this way. I'm looking away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Leave. This is not good. Can I buy a soda? I've I've been caught. I've been so caught. I'm so busted. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. Go over here. Oh, that almost maxed out. Yeah, I know I'm losing them, but... Okay, good. Her suspicion meter's going down. I've got to get to that car somehow. I ran straight past her. That was a bad way to follow someone. Okay, it's really going down now. That's fine. It's still going down. Hide here. That's good. I mean, I don't know about you, but when I'm walking around town, I don't really check over my shoulder every three seconds. But maybe we all should. Maybe we're all being tailed by a, a detective because we've all done bad things that we're going to get snitched on for doing. But I, I didn't think so, but <laughs> maybe. Oh, is she going to buy a drink? No? Cool, so she's heading around that corner. Let's keep following a little bit. What, is she going into the car park? And she just crossed the road. Alright. Is she going to go hit up the arcade? Go to Club Sega, play some games? I'm not sure. Okay, so she's turned around again. Cool. What, what's she doing? Just walking backwards and forwards? Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. Good. Okay, yeah, stay on her. Stay on her. Not too much, though. If she turns around, I'm going to grab this car. Mm, no, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Stay with it. I wasn't expecting two of these following missions in one go. Okay, so she's weaving around a lot. No, other side. Dude, look the other way. Okay. So we're tailing the target. So we're assuming that this is an adultery case and they're meeting up. Because, I don't know, is he bored with his wife? I'm not sure. Uh oh. She just turned around. Luckily, luckily I was going this way. Okay. That was super lucky. So... Where is she going now? Take your time, no hurry here, it's no problem. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, oh no, I've been spotted a little bit. Hide here, which is... I swear that's more suspicious. But yeah, think nothing of it, keep going. Is that a, a bowling alley? Might have to visit there at some point. Okay, so... I don't know what to do. I just follow it. It just takes time. It's not hugely exciting, so feel free to skip ahead for when I finally see where this woman's gone to. Okay, lots of signs to hide behind. This is easy. This is fine. Easy street. She's looking, but it doesn't matter. Good. I'm just stalking this woman. Okay. That's it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Oh wow, where are you going? This must be getting close. It looks like we're heading into like a new area. Just gonna chill out here. Ignore the flag. The flag's in my face, but I can see I'm sneaky around that. Stop being suspicious. Go to where you're going. I want to find out the truth. Okay. Excuse me, mister. Get out of my way. Okay. Hop. <laughs> Tailing complete. She's being with someone else, is she? What's she up to? So what's the story? Wait a sec, this is... We're back at the coffee place? What the hell? Could it be... What is this? I guess it doesn't matter. The picture should be enough for the client. Oh, okay. Hello? Noriko-san? Yagami-san, have you found anything out? Yeah, I'd like to go over my findings. Can you stop by in the office, please? Of course I can. I'll be right there. 
I'll see you in a second. Okay, I'll meet her back at the office. Based on the evidence, I think it's safe to say with almost full certainty that your husband is cheating. I'm sorry. Oh, I see. Um, I'm sorry. Was there more, Yagami-san? Well, yeah, regarding the woman your husband's seeing. Does she look familiar to you? Yeah. Oh, this? Who's that? Am I correct in assuming she's the owner of Kasho Zoku, the bar above Heavy Coffee? Yeah, you're absolutely right. We've met a few times, actually. I mean, I had no idea that he was seeing someone so close. I'm a fool to have not seen it earlier. Don't blame yourself. In a trusting relationship, you aren't really looking for those kinds of signs. Like I said, sometimes these kinds of details are best left undiscovered. But your husband is seeing your neighbour, that much is true. And now, the truth is a weapon in your hand. Just be careful about how you wield it, okay? Yagami wow, thanks Yagami-san. I'm actually relieved to know. I think I'll fall for a divorce. I see. I'm glad though. I'm glad to know, rather than spend the rest of my life as an ignorant clod. Thank you for being so thorough. I'm just doing my job. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to get in touch. <laughs> oh, yeah, no thank you. I don't need to feel what I'm feeling now ever again. Well, this one ended up right where it started. Sometimes it really is darkest under the lamppost. Oh, wow. You can now accept requests from Yagami Detective Agency and Gender Law Office. Check out the bulletin board in Yagami's office. Okay, we have got a detective man's business. We can do side cases now. There will be many times that you encounter someone in the street and the side case will open up from there. So that's cool. We can do stuff just to build up our friendships, our money, stuff like that. But that is good. We have got a lot of money now. Oh. You can now play pinball in the office. Wow. Good. Cool. So I think that we are good for this video. We kind of ruined a marriage and we did a little bit of the story as well. So this is Usho signing off and hopefully I will see you next time.